Okay, we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. And parallel and perpendicular lines share a special relationship um, in that for two lines to be parallel, their slopes are going to be the same. So two lines that are parallel are going to have equal slopes. And a perpendicular line, the two lines that are perpendicular to each other, uh, the two slopes are going to be the negative inverses of each other. Or another way of saying that is that they are the negative uh, reciprocals of each other. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, perpendicular lines in a moment. But right now I want to talk about parallel lines. And let's look at this problem that we've got here uh, to our right. My, or my left, my left. I don't know if it's my left or your right, whatever. So we're saying write an equation in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form, of course, is y equals mx plus b. This is where I want to get to. And I'm being told that it passes through a point of negative 3, 5, and that it's parallel to a graph of a line or equation of a line that is 2x minus 4. Now, if it's going to be parallel, it's going to have the same slope. But let's go back, let's set aside here to uh, figure out and write this line. And I'm going to start here with point slope. So I've got y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And I'm going to substitute in first. First thing I'm going to do is substitute in some of the information I'm given. Well, let's see. I'm going to got y minus, and I'll, y1, I can see right here that y1 is 5, so I'm going to substitute that in. And then slope. Well, I'm writing a line that's parallel, and the slope of this line right here is 2, so my slope of a line parallel has got to be 2. And then I've got x minus, and for x1, I'm going to substitute in minus 3, which is what I get, see, right here. So I got minus 3. Well, minus, minus negative 3 is going to be a plus 3. And to go about solving this, well, of course, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to distribute this 2 to the x plus 3. And that's going to give me 2x plus 6. Okay. So I got y minus 5 equals 2x plus 6. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So let's add 5 here. Let's add 5 here. And I've got y equals 2x plus 11. I've done it. Okay. So I've written an equation in slope-intercept form. We can see that that slope-intercept form of a line that passes through a point of negative 3, 5, and is parallel to a line the, the equation of that line is 2x minus 4. Parallel lines, the slopes are the same. I use point slope and solve to slope intercept. How about that? All right, in just a moment, we're going to uh, write an equation in slope, slope intercept form of a line that's perpendicular to another line. But before we do that, I want to just kind of go over this idea of what, what is the slope of a perpendicular line or what is the slope of a, if a line is perpendicular to a line, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to it? And we talked about that well, those were negative inverses of each other, or we could say that uh, the slope of the line that is perpendicular is the negative reciprocal of the uh, line that it's perpendicular to. So let me see if I can't get us a, a little bit of sense out of this. Let's say I've got a line and its slope, we'll say, we're going to say that its slope equals 3. Now, for a line to be perpendicular to it, it has got to be the negative inverse or the negative reciprocal. So if one line has a slope of 3, and there's a line perpendicular to it, the slope of the line that's perpendicular is going to be the negative inverse, or you, as you can see here, it's going to be negative 1 over 3. 
Now, let's say I've got the slope of a line. Let's say uh, I've got a slope of a line, and it is 3 over 2. In other words, it's got a rise of 3, a run of 2. Both of them are positive. That's the slope of a line. Well, for a line to be perpendicular to that line, a line with that slope of 3 over 2, the slope of that perpendicular line must be the negative inverse of that or negative 2 over 3. So that would be the slope of a line perpendicular to this line. All right, let's see. Let's do one more. Let's say I've got a slope and it is negative 1 third. Negative 1 over 3 is the slope of a line. Okay. And I'm being asked to determine what's the slope of a line that is perpendicular to it. Well, it's going to be the negative inverse, but this is already a negative 1 over 3. So the negative inverse of that of a slope perpendicular to this line is just simply going to be 3. All right, so I hope that helps a little bit in this whole negative inverse, negative reciprocal piece. Um, another way that I could do this is if I take the slope of two lines, and if I multiply the slopes together, if they are perpendicular, it's going to be negative 1, a product of that if I multiply that. So if I take the slope of this line, it was 3, times negative 1. One third. Well, three times negative one equals negative three, and one times three is three, so that it does in fact equal negative one. Let's see, what about this one here? Where we had a slope of three over two, got a slope of three over two. I'm going to put these in parentheses this time. And I've got a slope of a second line that's minus two-thirds, or two over three. Well, if I multiply those two slopes together, if they are, in fact, perpendicular, my answer should be negative one. So let's say I'm going to do numerator times numerator. I could do cross product, but I, I always like the numerator times numerator, de, uh, denominator times denominator, because it works every time. And let's see, if I got three times negative two, I'm going to say the negative two, well, that gives me negative six. And 2 times 3 gives me 6. Well, negative 6 over 6 is Shazam, negative 1. Those two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so now we're being asked over here, looking at uh, where my problem is, to write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that passes through a point where x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 7. And this line is perpendicular to a line uh, that the equation of that line is y equals 2 over 3x minus 1. So again, now first, where am I going? I'm going to end up, I want to write a line that is in slope-intercept form. So I want to end up with something that's going to look like that. Okay, so what have I got to do here? Well, I'm going to use, just like I did before, I'm going to use my point slope formula, so I got y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And I'm going to substitute in what I know, uh, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of figuring something out as well as that. But let's start over here. First thing I'm going to have is y minus, well, I'm going to use this 7 here because that's y1, y minus 7 equals all right, now, what am I going to use for m or slope? I'm writing a line that is perpendicular, and I've got a slope here of 2 over 3. Well, if this line is going to be perpendicular to that line right there, the slope of it has got to be the negative inverse or the negative reciprocal. So I'm going to now substitute in for m or my slope negative 3 over 2 times x, and I'm going to finish this off by substituting in 4. So I got minus 4, which is my x coordinate. 
Now I'm going to start solving this the same way I always do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute. Now I've got to distribute this negative 3 over 2 or negative 3 halves to x and to now negative 4. Well, negative 3 halves times x is just going to give me negative 3 halves x. And then I've got negative 3 halves times negative 4. Well, I could go this two ways. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to use a cross product here. So in other words, 2 is going to go into negative 4, negative 2 times. So I've cleared out the denominator. And now I've got negative 3 times negative 2. Well, that's going to be a positive 6. All right, so I got y minus 7 equals negative 3 over 2x, or negative 3 halves x, plus 6. And I've got to now add 7 to both sides. If you have any questions about what I did here when I distributed the negative 3 over 2 times the negative 4, we need to get together. I'm going to add 7 here to both sides, and I'm going to end up with y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 13. Bam! We've written an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passes through the coordinate of a point, 4, 7, where x is equal to 4, y is equal to 7, and it is perpendicular to y equals 2 over 3, or 2 thirds x minus 1. Now, Next slide coming up is going to have some information from Khan Academy and hope we kind of pull some of all of this together as we are writing equations for parallel and perpendicular lines.